Since the dawn of time, mankind has asked one question. And that is, where do we go when we die? Join Soul Reaper Paranormal as we dive headfirst into the unknown. Using the latest technology, we have but one goal. That is to prove that life does indeed go on. Death is not the end. It's just the beginning. So, the Soul Reaper team have come to investigate the claims of a demonic attack. We are actually in the graveyard called... Back Lane Cemetery. At Thriver. And we're going to either disprove or prove these claims. Um, it will be interesting, obviously, to see what happens. You've actually been here tonight before, haven't you, Kyle? Yeah, I've actually investigated this place before. Um, a lot of weird things went off. Um, obviously, there's claims of a shadow running in and out of the cemetery gates. Um, a certain individual claimed to have been attacked by a demonic entity, so his real goal here tonight, guys, is to actually prove or disprove that that actually happened. Um, if it's happened, then all credit will be given, you know, to the individual. Um, if not, then there you go. That That's basically his goal tonight, is to see what this is all about. Also, it'll be interesting to put my demonology um, skills at work tonight. Um, I do have a lot of information to pass and share with you. Uh, regarding the demon in question, uh, I'm also going to do some la Latin questions. Um, do a bit of calling out in Latin, see if we get any responses in Latin, because as we know, demonic entities are supposed to understand and speak in Latin and Aramaic. Can I just also say as well, the graveyard, it's the, the actual first time I've been here and it's such a small graveyard. I mean, the entrance it is it is so busy, it is just literally there. It is so tiny and the overall feel I get just being here tonight so far is really calm, not freaky, um, there's no kind of, does anybody else feel a bit no, I feel, I feel, I feel totally at peace. Calm, yeah. Yeah. So, totally yeah, overall I feel fine at the minute, so let's uh, get started, let's crack on and see what we get. Right guys, so we're about to get this investigation underway. I've got the REM pod here, and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to actually show you guys me setting this up and turning it on so you know it's not being tampered with. Also, we're going to keep the antenna down for further you know, validation that it's spirit. It makes it a lot harder to actually affect it once the antenna's down. It, it reduces that bubble. So what I'll do is I'll turn this on, and we'll get this investigation underway. Right, so I'll put this down here. And as you can see, guys, that's working. Right, spirits, we've come to this cemetery tonight to prove or disprove a claim that a demon's attacked someone. If there's anybody here that witnessed that, could you affect that device that I've just placed on the ground? All you've got to do is go close to it, you don't even have to touch it. Give us some sort of sign that you're here that you can hear my voice, that you can see us. Do anything you can to alert us to your presence. All you've got to do is walk up to that little device on the ground, take the energy from it, do whatever you need to, to affect that device. I'm just gonna snap pictures of this, this REM pod as well, just in case there's all lingering. This spirit is just so we can start the communication with you. We've come here to try and validate or disprove something that's supposedly happened. Now we want to hear your story, so please confirm by pressing setting off the red pod so we can start communication with you. Feel free to use my energy and our collective energy if you need it to set this device off. Got nothing to fear from us whatsoever. We're encouraging all positive spirits our spirit beings to come forwards and communicate with us tonight. Do not be alarmed by us. We're friendly. We're a friendly bunch. And we're just here to prove to people that death's not the end. That there's something else afterwards. 
Can you help us do that tonight? If you can, could you affect that device right now? If you'd like to talk to us and communicate with us, can you set the device off, please? We will be giving you a chance at some point tonight where we split up individually and we'll all be sitting in the place where this supposed attack happened. So if there is anybody that you feel is more vulnerable in the group, do feel free to go up and show your power. Is there anyone here that can remember me from last time? Could you affect that device? Or show yourself on this camera? I've got an idea I'm going to try. Yeah. I'm going to set the EVP player yeah. playing over there, or yeah. us over here, and let it just run. Yeah, good idea. Because it's got a stand on it. Cool. So I'm just going to set the voice recorder up over here and just see if it picks up while we're asking these questions. Just in case you see any flashing lights, guys at home, Kyle is taking pictures as we speak, so that's all flashing lights will be. <laughs> mess about with the equipment feel free to do anything else you feel can we hear your footsteps can you throw a stone that's now set up right so ask some targeted questions Danny about what we're looking for so any spirits who are here can you come forward you can either show yourself by coming close to this device or the device I've set up over there you can even speak to us you can reply to us you are here. Can you let us know? Can you what step happened? Close? What happened a few weeks ago here? Can you tell us? If there's any spirits around now, is there or has there been any demonic presence here? If it's true that someone was attacked here by a demon recently, could you give us that person's name? First name will be fine. But first and second name would be amazing. <coughs> and if there was a demon, could you say their name? Do you want to do a live review of that, Danny, on camera? Yeah. Play that back now. Right. I think we asked enough questions there, didn't we, guys? Yeah, it's a very cold night as well tonight, people. So just bear in mind with EVPs, you can get sniffles and noses and, you know, shivers and coats and clothes moving, so right. it can all Here we be go. disproved. Say something then. 
twice. The question before and that one, I had something. Yeah, can we just double check if <clears throat> something seems to come through, maybe, at two particular questions. Just... I know, it's why forward. Do you have your amp on you, Kyle? Have I got my amp? Yeah, you know, so we can... Yeah, we'll plug into this. That could be it. Yeah, that that was like a pig. Yeah, like a grunt, wasn't it? Pig. Yeah. Mm. It's true that someone was attacked here by a demon recently. Could you give us that person's name? Kind of like first a bit, James. Fine, but first and second name would be amazing. And if there was a whisper, yeah. a demon, could you say their name? We are now going to conduct our second EVP session of the night. Session of the night. EVP session two. If a demon attack took place in this cemetery, can you give us the name of the person that was attacked? All you've got to do is speak into that device clearly. So what we're going to do now is going to perform our first spirit box session of the night. Steve's actually gone off to kind of try and recreate the scenario from a couple of weeks ago. So he's, he's off on his own doing a lone vigil. Um, and yeah, let's see what we get. I'm going to also try and ask a few questions in Latin to see if we do get any understanding of what I'm saying or any intelligent responses back in Latin. So. And for, for the new vi viewers that are watching this film, obviously Emma's studying demonology and she's getting quite good at it. So this is the perfect practice battleground sort it of scenario is. isn't it for you to, to try is. and hone your skills a little bit it is can i just also say as well before we do do the spirit box session the actual supposed demon that we're we're investigating tonight he is actually in the grocery of the lesser keys of solomon now king solomon was believed to have captured 72 different types of demonic spirits and this names demon which i'm not going to say its name because i don't agree with it but this name demon is actually believed to be the 50 something and he is believed to be presenting himself as almost like a bird of a raven of some sort uh, but then can change into a human form with a, a, a wielding sword um, he's also believed to be from the ranks of angels before he fell and then after he fell he's believed to be a president in hell um, so it will be interesting to see if we get anything when we ask oh, it's a powerful, certain questions. A powerful regarding. entity then. Yeah, and he also can learn people like the voices of animals, so like understanding communication between animals, dogs, birds, these different types of things. Um, he's also believed to be not, I don't believe in friendly demons because I don't think there is any, but he's supposed to be an easier one to kind of believe you have control over when conjuring. Um, so yeah, let's right. crack on and find out. Let's get this show on the road. We're in FM, we'll go forwards. Good evening, Spirit World. My name's Kyle. I'm Emma. We'll I'm Danny. That kid's voice again. Can you hear us? Or see us? Steve. Where is Steve? What did he just say then? I don't know. What did you think it said? Attack. I'm not 100% sure that. Is it is it true that someone was attacked by a demon here a few weeks back? Is it is it true that someone was attacked by a demon here a few weeks back? Is it is it true that someone was attacked by a demon here a few weeks back? That said Beazel. Did you hear that? Did it right? Didn't hear that. Is it possible? If this did happen, for you to do that again, but to a different individual, so Stephen is at the bottom, try and do it to Stephen. If it's true that a demon attacks someone, could you tell us the name of the person it attacked? You don't know me. You don't know me. Hi, guys. Steve here from Soul Reaper. Basically what I'm doing now, I'm bogging off on my sen for a little bit. Guys are up there, 
you can't see but they're behind me over here and I'm just going down to a bit where alleged claim took place of this demonic attack and what I'm going to do just spend some time here do some calling out I am going to actually do something which I don't like doing and, and I believe you shouldn't do I'm going to try and provoke spirit and see if anything materializes or if anything happens uh, I'm not actually feeling anything at the minute uh, just feel calm and relax it's, but there's like an house just literally there and there's a street that runs past and it is quite open and small so it's not like a scary place anyway so it's not a place where you get scared unless you felt something so but here we go you said the name of the person this demon attacked This is a good session already, I'm telling you, we've heard loads already. Okay, let me just ask a few questions in, in Latin. Sawe spiritus? Sawe spiritus? Psst. Quid est tibi nomen? Quid est tibi nomen? Mihi nomen est Emma? One more. Agus? Be careful. Be careful. Oh, help me out. Queer Agus? Queer Agus? Have a laugh. So basically what I've just asked is, hello spirits, what is your name? My name is Emma, what are you up to? Could have swore he just called her a slag. Yeah. What's here with us at this moment in time right now? What? What? What are we communicating with? <laughs> Who got attacked by a demon here? Is it true or fake? If there's any spirits, demonic, negative, nice, any spirits whatsoever around me or around this area, can you come forward and make yourself known, please? Can you touch me? Pull me up, pull me hood off my head. Can you attack me? Hit me? Do anything? I am giving you full permission for this one time only while I'm here in this graveyard to attack me. Once I leave this place, you will not be able to follow me. You will not be able to touch me. So please come forward and affect me in any way to prove or disprove this claim of a demonic attack. Can you give us a straight answer, real or fake? Pressure in our lives. Pressure in our lives. Are we, are we bothering you? Your life in your hands. Your, your life, life in, in your, your hands. hands. You put your life in your hands. Are we in, a, an, in an area where there is such entity here? Don't call him. Don't call him. Why shouldn't we call him? What? Do, you, do you guys know what he's called? Or, or what the entity is called? Do you know who we are? Who's gone off on his own in this cemetery? Who's over there right now on his own? You. 
Just before you said that, it said Emma. I think it wants Emma to speak. Well, Emma. What would you like me to speak in Latin or English? Say. Latin. Sounded like Latin. No way. Spiritus? Mihi tibi nomen? Stop. Try to see if they can understand what I'm saying, and if they can understand that question, then they'll give me an answer back intelligent. Spirits of Backliam Cemetery, come forward and let your presence be known. Can you show yourself outside of me? As you can see, I've got my hat on and my hood up because it's absolutely perishing tonight. It's a very cold night, so... If there's any spirits, come forward. Let me know that you're here. Let me feel you. Connect with me spiritually. Touch me. Hit me. Scratch me. Anything you like. What language am I speaking in? Can you tell me? Oh, God. I thought that said Latin. I did. I saw it. And do you understand what I'm saying? Valoe. Valoe mm. Val said something. I heard that. Stop to them. It, it is quite, I mean, obviously we, have to do, we do have to review this, say. but it is quite interesting. There might possibly be some Latin responses there or some understanding of what language I was speaking and what I might have been asking, mm -hmm. um, which is a bit interesting, isn't it? Yeah. If you can hear any voices, uh, Emma, Kyle and Danny are literally just up there, so it could possibly be them. So that's what I can hear, so if you pick up any voices, that's more than likely what it is. <coughs> If there's any spirits, please come forward and let your presence be known. What I will do in a minute, I will come back down with the spirit box or Kyle or Danny or Emma will and they'll do a spirit box session here as well to see if we get any validating evidence. Spirits. Of Back Lane Cemetery, please come forward. Come and sit next to me on this bench. It's a bench here, literally just outside. And come and sit on this bench next to me. Um, we heard that. I heard some weird stuff there. Like, well, that, in like, English as well. I've got like an idea. How about I go and do my lone vigil, yeah. and you do another spirit box oh, with Steve here, yeah. and I'll go yeah. up the yeah. other end of the graveyard. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Try and kind of. And yeah. see if I. Just see what I get, because I'm not going to be. I'm yeah. going to be a long way from here. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say to the people at home, demons are very real. They are very, very real, and I can't stress that enough. And they are very powerful entities, and they are not to be messed about with, not to be joked about, not to be laughed at, not to be called out just to do a stupid task because they can wreck lives, they can hurt people, they can even kill people. So. This is a subject that's really touched to all. That's why I'm probably reacted the way I did because just the whole idea of a demon being in a cemetery like this is just, I don't know. It, I suppose it could happen, but not in my eyes. And for one thing, and as well, guys, the last thing a demon will do is give you its name, because you have got leverage over that demon then. So for you to get a name instantly straight away, that's just preposterous, because a demon will not give its name until the very last second. So really, to get a demon's name, it's not going to happen. Priests do exorcisms for days, weeks, months on end, and don't even get a... a a demon's name so for just a, a normal person to come and just draw a demon's name out of it straight away it's very unlikely let's say
Right, so this is, as promised, the ceremonial lighting of the candle lantern, which Danny's going to be using on his lone vigil. Just going to light this, guys, for Danny. Am I supposed to be serious? <laughs> How do you feel about it all, Danny? Um, to be fair here, I don't actually feel that bad. I feel quite peaceful. Yeah. I mean, I'm going up to that end, Yeah. to the far end, so it should be interesting. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to try and create the scenario, which we have been doing with Stephen in the exact area, but Danny's going to now take a walk around the graveyard we'll see. to see if it could be lurking around anywhere else. Um, we are actually oh here God. to see this demon, to, to speak to this demon, if it's here, so, yeah. So, Danny, it's yes. your time I'm to shine. Are vigil. you ready for your own vigil? Yep. By the way, guys, this is Danny's first loan vigil, I think, isn't it, Danny? Second, I did Second. one. Uh, uh, forgot which one was that. Oh, Where yeah. the schools are. Oh, Hickleton. Yeah. Right. We're only small, though. I'm, not, I'm going a lot further this time. All yeah. Right. He's going a bit further each time. Yeah. Next time, he might get 10 foot away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Hey, right, Danny, right. get oh, yourself oh. off, lad. Good luck. And we'll catch up with you shortly. If you need us, just scream. <laughs> right, let's see where I'm going. So as you can see, that's Danny, and he's off on his long vigil. Right, guys, what we're going to do, I've just come back from my bit of long vigil, uh, and we've just, we've just sent Danny off on his. So we're just going to do a spirit box. We're going to sweep in AM, and I'm going to sweep forwards before you do can i just say as well remind everyone we've still got a rem pod down here set up which has not gone off tonight so far um so that is still going to be on just in case and it's the first time we've gone in am tonight as well so when you're ready stop straight away If there's any spirits here, can you come forward and communicate with us? Philip again. Is there anybody here in the, the other life that would like to tell us about what happened about a few weeks ago? Right, I'm now setting off on my lone vigil and as you can see I've got candle and that's all I've got for light walking up the graveyard first time I've ever been here so this should be interesting in regards to using a candle it's like an old-fashioned way of doing it to be fair the energies that you can get through fire because it has its own energy and it's a natural energy that spirit has said to be able to use. So, this should be a very interesting experience. Fibs. Fibs. Can you repeat that again, spirits? Can you tell us what happened a few weeks ago here? Are the claims true? If there is, or has been, a demonic presence here, can you say the word demon for me now, please? Feels slightly different here, I've got to say. It's a lovely night. Field. Uh, if you can see any mist around me, it's just my breath because it is very cold. There's fields all around, and this is my heat source. Right. If there's any, if there has been or there is any demonic presence here. Can you come forward and say the word demon for me, please? Uh, 
there was. The king. Yeah, I had the king. King Solomon. Hmm. Is the demonic entity we're talking about one that Solomon captured? Is it one of the 72 spirits? Is he now a president of hell? Was he an angel before he fell from he heaven? I've set up now. I've got up to the top of the graveyard. You can see it's quite a way down in the middle of nowhere. So, if there's any spirits here, I'll do some calling out. If there's any spirits here, can you please come forward, communicate with me? Can you make your presence known to me? Stand near me. Walk around me. To be fair, I don't feel anything here. I feel very at peace. Don't feel any negativity. Um, I just don't feel anything. And I've got to say, I'm quite a way away. I can't see them. Oh, on the camera at the minute, according to the minutes, there's 666 left. Is that trying to tell me something? No. I don't, uh, I don't feel anything here, like I say, whatsoever. Try again. If there's anybody here... Oh, hold on. <clears throat> spirits any negative or positive spirits who wish to make yourself known to me then come forward thought I heard a bag ruffle but then again it could just be a bag it is slightly windy you see anything no You want to step forward and make yourself known to me? Is there any negative spirits here who want to make themselves known? Can you show yourself to me? Oh. Anyone? Is there any souls stuck in purgatory here? Four. Well, you know what to ask for, if you are. Is there any other spirits here? Yep, sure it was. Dan. Is it possible for who's talking with us now to go up to Dan and do something? Depends. Tell you what I'm going to try. I haven't got a spirit box on me. But I'm going to... It's all right, I didn't even notice that my candle's gone out. Look, candle's gone out. Didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, I'm in the dark. Oh, well, put it back there. <sighs> Looks like I am on my own then, night vision only. Right. I'm gonna do a quick EVP session. Dan have in his hand? What is he holding, Dan? That's our light. 
sound no. is. Yeah. Right. Doesn't appear that we got anything on that, but on review, you never know. So, I think I'll end that there because I don't really feel much. So, hopefully, caught some. But personally, I'm not feeling anything at the minute, so I'll find my way back in the darkness with my unlit torch. Is it, if there's any tools to this claim of a demonic attack here in this graveyard, can you come forward and say the word attack, please? It's ancient. It's ancient something. It's not what I've asked about, is it? The only word I want to hear is attack. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Can I just also ask? I forgot what I was gonna ask. Just to prove oh, that, that there is intelligence here, can you say my name? My name's Steve, can you repeat it for here, please? Just to prove that there's an intelligent spirit around, can you say Steve? Can you tell us this entity? What what is the ability of this entity? Is he powerful? Why why would there be such a, an entity on on this land? Pardon. Why would there be a demonic entity on this land? Time to fly. Oh, right. nine again. Nine? No. Okay, so I've come to a separate part of the graveyard, uh, one I believe where the attack took place. Um, if we do get a lot of contamination it's because there is a lot of traffic here, it's, it's the main entrance and it's it's quite public really. Um, I also got the spirit box, but what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to do a bit of calling out to see if I get anything. So, any spirits or entities of any form now is your chance to come forward. Let me hear your footsteps. Let me feel your presence. I'm here because of one of the claims that have come out recently about a demonic attack. And if not a demonic, then a malevolent spirit attack. I know I shouldn't ask for such things, but is it possible for you to do this to me? Or give me some sign that there there is a chance you would be willing to, you you could do that. Make me feel on edge or nervous because I feel absolutely fine. Can you scratch my face? I do also have a hole in my glove and as you can see these are dark gloves and it doesn't appear to be a different colour and it also doesn't appear to be anything else but a, a ruffle like a hole would show up on a glove it's a ruffle not a, not a coloured mark I'm here to fully support what claims have come out if 
that has really happened. But I'm also here to disprove if it hasn't. Come and stand with me. Let me feel your presence. It's very cold tonight. You see, what you've got to think is a demonic entity. The whole purpose really is to destroy souls to take away what God created and destroy it the best way they can. And I don't see what a demonic entity would get out of hanging around a graveyard that is full of bodies whose souls have already moved on or gone to where they've gone. There's no reason, there's no purpose. Now, yes, yeah, somebody could have come here and conjured a demon up but surely they would have taken it with them because their whole purpose in conjuring that demon up is for self gain and to work with the, the demon. No reason for it to hang around here. I think they're very busy and got more on their hands than hanging around the graveyard. And like I said before this, this entity is the name of this entity is one of a very powerful demonic, very powerful. It's not just any random one, he's believed to reign over 30 legions of spirit, evil spirit and demonic spirit. He's known as a president of hell, so why would he be hanging around here? Also, if this is a malevolent attack by a malevolent spirit, Surely there would be other claims of, of people having the same occurrences. Not just one individual. So please come on, I'm, I'm encouraging you, I'm welcoming you to come forward and do to me what you did to somebody else a few weeks ago. <clears throat> Can you show yourself at the side of me? I'm going to turn the spirit box on guys because I don't seem to be getting anything happening. Might be a bit tricky with one hand. And I can't really see. So we're in FM. I'm going forward. Tell us what demon, demonic entities are, spirits. Come on. Tell us what they are. Tell us what their abilities are. Sure. Well, I'm going to turn this off because I don't seem to be getting anything. And I am so cold. I'm going to head back up now to the guys because I'm just absolutely freezing. But it doesn't seem to be, nothing seems to be happening whatsoever. And you know, it's, it's, it's not a creepy place, honestly, it's not. It's, I don't know if you can see this side of me. Right there is a house with the front light on. That is the main entrance. You can hear the cars going past and the cars come up there. Um, here is a bench and then there's another bench over there. I'm lost now with my directions. <laughs> but yeah, I'll end it there anyway and I'll go and meet back up with everybody else. Right guys, we're coming to end of his investigation now. Uh, it's been a cold one. I've personally not felt nothing. Uh, I don't think we've had, I've not had it, heard any intelligent responses. We will do a review, obviously. You hear stuff better when you uh, review at home with headphones in and stuff, but for me, uh, there's no demonic presence or any presence whatsoever here, to my knowledge, but, guys? I can agree so far with that. Obviously, I've got to review the footage, but um, 
I won't go as far as saying uh, there's a, any demonic presence here. Um, I just get nothing but like peacefulness and calmness. It just seems really dead, to be honest, literally. <laughs> yeah, we are in a graveyard. Yeah, so. I, I agree. I I felt it's felt very calm, and I've done that lone vigil. And I was quite away from you. Yeah. Candle blew out and that, but I didn't feel nervous, scared. I felt really at peace and was loving the scene. Right. So listen. Right. Yeah. Um, personally, for me, I've not really experienced much and um, there were a couple of intelligent responses for the spirit box which I'm looking forward to listening back to but other than that it's just totally at peace here yeah, just... right guys so we've finished this investigation stay tuned for many more videos coming this year some top locations that we're looking forward to um, but yeah please do like this video if you enjoyed it um, subscribe also find us on Facebook and Twitter and basically just give us a thumbs up and just to say guys we didn't actually intend intend on coming here tonight. We was going somewhere else, but we couldn't get in the place where we was going. So we actually got there and couldn't get in. There was a problem. So uh, we just ended up here, uh, whether it were fake, coincidence, whatever, but we ended up here. So thanks. Keep watching. And bye. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I to finish it then, that's it, I just thought, I've lost foot, I don't know what I've to do. Uh, uh, I've gone for it now, I haven't done oh, it. <laughs>
think I'll end that there because I don't really feel much. So hopefully caught some up. But personally, I'm not feeling anything at the minute. So I'll find my way back in the darkness with my unlit torch. Is it, if there's any truth to this claim of a demonic attack here in this graveyard, can you come forward and say the word attack, please? It's ancient. It's ancient something. It's not what I've asked for. Ancient The only word I want to hear is attack. You're going to die, motherfucker. Can I just also ask? I forgot what I was going to ask. Just to prove oh, that, that there is intelligence here, can you say my name? My name's Steve. Can you repeat it for here, please? Just to prove that there's an intelligent spirit around. Can you say Steve? Philip again. Can you tell us this entity? What what is the ability of this entity? Is he powerful? Why why would there be such a, an entity on? on this land. Pardon. Why would there be a demonic entity on this land? Time to fly. Oh, uh, nine, again. Nine? No. Okay, so I've come to a separate part of the graveyard, uh, one I believe where the attack took Like this is just... I don't know. It, I suppose it could happen, but not in my eyes. <laughs> and for one thing and as well, guys, the last thing a demon will do is give you its name because you have got leverage over that demon then. So for you to get a name instantly straight away, that's just preposterous, because a demon will not give its name until the very last second. So really to get a demon's name, it's not gonna happen. Priests do exorcisms for days, weeks, months on end, and don't even get a, a, a demon's name. So if I just... Uh, normal person to come and just draw a demon's name out of it straight away it's very unlikely let's see right so this is as promised the ceremonial lighting of the candle lantern which Danny's gonna be using on his lawn vigil just gonna light this guys for Danny am I supposed to be serious <laughs> <laughs> so. how do you feel about it all Danny um, to be fair here, I don't actually feel that bad. I feel quite peaceful. Yeah. I mean, I'm going up to that end, yeah. to the far end, so it should be interesting. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to try and create the scenario, which we have been doing with Stephen in the exact area, but Danny's going to now take a walk around the graveyard we'll see. to see if it could be lurking around anywhere else. Um, we are actually I'm here to see this demon, to, to speak to this demon, if it's here. So, yeah. So, Danny, it's yes. just... Time I'm to ready shine. For Are you ready for your lone vigil? Yep. By the way, guys, this is Danny's first lone vigil, I think, isn't it, Danny? Second, I did Second. one. Second. Uh, uh, forgot which one was that. Oh, Where yeah. the skulls are. Oh, Hickleton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're only small, though. I'm, not, I'm going a lot further this time. Yeah. Right. He's going a bit further each time. Yeah. Next time, he might get 10 foot away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Hey, right, Danny. Right. Get Good yourself luck. off, lad. Good luck. And we'll catch up with you shortly. If you need us, just scream.
So as you can see, that's Danny, and he's off on his long vigil. Right, guys, what we're going to do, I've just come back from my bit of long visual, uh, and we've just, we've just sent Danny off on his, so we're just going to do a spirit box. We're going to sweep in AM, and I'm going to sweep forwards before you do can i just say as well remind everyone we've still got a rem pod down here set up which has not gone off tonight so far um so that is still going to be on just in case and it's the first time we've gone in am tonight as well so when you're ready <laughs> um so yeah let's right. crack on and find out let's get this show on the road we're in fm we'll go forwards good evening spirit world my name's kyle i'm emma uh, we'll keep it i'm danny that kid's voice again. Can you hear us? Or see us? Steve. Where is Steve? What did he just say then? I don't know. What did you think it said? Attack. I'm not 100% sure of that. <laughs> Is it is it true that someone was attacked by a demon here a few weeks back? Is it is it true that someone was attacked by a demon here a few weeks back? Is it is it true that someone was attacked by a demon here a few weeks back? That said Beazle. Did you hear that? Did it I didn't hear that. Is it possible if this did happen for you to do that again, but to a different individual? So Stephen is at the bottom? Try and do it to Stephen. If it's true that a demon attacks someone, could you tell us the name of the person it attacked? You don't know me. You don't know me. Hi guys. Steve here from Soul Reaper. Basically what I'm doing now, I'm bogging off on my sen for a little bit. Guys are up there, you can't see, but they're behind me over here. And I'm just going down to a bit where a ledger claim took place of this demonic attack. And what I'm going to do, just spend some time here, do some calling out. I am going to actually do something which I don't like doing, and, and I believe you shouldn't do. I'm going to try and provoke spirit and see if anything materialises or if anything happens. Uh, I'm not actually feeling anything at the minute. Uh, just feel calm and relax. It's, but there's like an house just literally there, and there's a street that runs past, and it is quite open and small, so it's not like a scary place anyway. So it's not a place where you get scared unless you felt something. So, but here we go. He said the name of the person this demon attacked. This is a good session already, I'm telling you, we've heard loads already. Okay, let me just ask a few questions in, in Latin. Sawe Spiritus? Sawe Spiritus? Psst. Quid est tibi nomen? Scratch my face. I do also have a hole in my glove. And as you can see, these are dark gloves, and it doesn't appear to be a different colour. And it also doesn't appear to be anything else but a, a ruffle, like a hull would show up on a glove. It's a ruffle, not a, not a coloured mark. I'm here to fully support what claims have come out if that has really happened. But I'm also here to disprove if it hasn't. Come and stand with me. Let me feel your presence. It's very cold tonight. You see, what you've got to think is a demonic entity 
the whole purpose really is to destroy souls, to take away what God created and destroy it the best way they can. And I don't see what a demonic entity would get out of hanging around a graveyard that is full of bodies whose souls have already moved on or gone to where they've gone. There's no reason, there's no purpose. Now, yes, somebody could have come here and conjured a demon up, but surely they would have taken it with them because their whole purpose in conjuring that demon up is for self-gain and to work with the, the demon. No reason for it to hang around here. I think they're very busy and got more on their hands than hanging around the graveyard. And like I said before, this, this entity is, the name of this an entity is one of a very powerful demonic, very powerful. It's not just any random one. He's believed to reign over 30 legions of spirit, evil spirit and demonic spirit. He's known as a president of hell, so why would he be hanging around here? Also, if this is a malevolent attack by a malevolent spirit, surely there would be other claims of, of people having the same occurrences. Not just one individual. So please, come on, I'm, I'm encouraging you, I'm welcoming you to come forward and do... Walking up the graveyard. First time I've ever been here, so this should be interesting. In regards to using a candle, it's like an old-fashioned way of doing it to be fair the energies that you can get through fire because it has its own energy and it's a natural energy that spirit has said to be able to use so this should be a very interesting experience fibs fibs Can you repeat that again, spirits? Can you tell us what happened a few weeks ago here? Are the claims true? If there is or has been a demonic presence here, can you say the word demon for me now, please? feels slightly different here, I've got to say. It's a lovely night. Feels, uh, if you can see any mist around me, it's just my breath, because it is very cold. There's fields all around. And this is my heat source. Right, if there's any, if there has been, or there is, any demonic presence here, can you come forward and say the word demon for me, please? There was. The king. Yeah, I had the king. King Solomon. Hmm. Is the demonic entity we're talking about one that Solomon captured? Is it one of the 72 spirits? Is he now a president of hell? Was he an angel before he fell from he heaven? I've set up now, I've got up to the top of the graveyard. You can see it's quite a way down in the middle of nowhere. So, I don't feel anything here, like I say, whatsoever. Try again. If there's anybody here, oh, hold on. <clears throat> 
spirits? Any negative or positive spirits who wish to make yourself known to me? Then come forward. Thought I heard a bag ruffle, but then again, it could just be a bag. It is slightly windy. You see anything? No. You want to step forward and make yourself known to me? Is there any negative spirits here who want to make themselves known? Can you show yourself to me? Oh. Anyone? Is there any souls stuck in purgatory here? Four. Well, you know what to ask for, if you are. Is there any other spirits here? Yep, so it was. Dan. Is it possible for who's talking with us now to go up to Dan and do something? Depends. Tell you what I'm going to try. I haven't got a spirit box on me. But I'm going to... It's all right, I didn't even notice that my candle's gone out. Look, candle's gone out. Didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, I'm in the dark. Oh, well, put it back there. <sighs> Looks like I am on my own then, night vision only. Right. I'm gonna do a quick EVP session. What does Dan have in his hand? Big task because they can wreck lives, they can hurt people, they can even kill people. So this is a subject that's really touched to all. That's why I'm probably reacted the way I did because just the whole idea of a demon being in a cemetery like this is just. I don't know. It, I suppose it could happen, but not in my eyes. And for one thing and as well, guys, the last thing a demon will do is give you its name, because you have got leverage over that demon then, so for you to get a name instantly straight away, that's just preposterous, because a demon will not give its name until the very last second. So, really, to get a demon's name, it's not going to happen. Priests do exorcisms for days, weeks, months on end and don't even get a, a, a demon's name. So, for just a, a normal person to come and just draw a demon's name out of it straight away, it's very unlikely, let's say. Right, so, this is, as promised, the ceremonial lighting of... The candle lantern which Danny's gonna be using on his lawn vigil. Just gonna light this guys for Danny. Am I supposed to be serious? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about it all Danny? Um to be fair here, I don't actually feel that bad. I feel quite peaceful. Yeah. I mean I'm going up to that end. Yeah. To the far end, so should be interesting. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to try and create this scenario, which we have been doing with Stephen in the exact area, but Danny's going to now take a walk around the graveyard we'll see. to see if it could be lurking around anywhere else. Um, we are actually I'm here to see this demon, to, to speak to this demon, if it's here. So, there we go. Yeah. So, Danny, it's yes. your time I'm to shine. Are you vigil. ready for your long vigil? Yep. By the way, guys, this is Danny's first long vigil, I think, isn't it, Danny? Second, I did Second. one. Uh, uh, I forgot which one was that. 
Oh, where yeah. the skulls are. Oh, Hickleton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're only small, though. I'm, not, I'm going a lot further this time. Yeah. Right. It's going a bit further each time. Yeah. Next time you might get ten foot away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Hey, right, Johnny, right. get Good yourself luck. off, lad. Good luck. And we'll catch up with you shortly. If you need us, just scream. Back to see where I'm going. So as you can see, that's Danny, and he's off on his long vigil. Right guys, what we're going to do, I've just come back from my bit of lone visual uh, and we've just we just sent Danny off on his, so we're just going to do a spirit box. Would show up on a glove. It's a ruffle, not a, not a coloured mark. I'm here to fully support what claims have come out if that has really happened. But I'm also here to disprove if it hasn't. You come and stand with me. Let me feel your presence. It's very cold tonight. You see, what you've got to think is a demonic entity the whole purpose really is to destroy souls, to take away what God created and destroy it the best way they can. And I don't see what a demonic entity would get out of hanging around a graveyard that is full of bodies whose souls have already moved on or gone to where they've gone. There's no reason, there's no purpose now, yes, somebody could have come here and conjured a demon up, but surely they would have taken it with them because their whole purpose in conjuring that demon up is for self-gain and to work with the, the demon. No reason for it to hang around here. I think they're very busy and got more on their hands than hanging around the graveyard. And like I said before, this, this entity is... The name of this an entity is one of a very powerful demonic, very powerful. It's not just any random one, he's believed to reign over 30 legions of spirit, evil spirit and demonic spirit. He's known as a president of hell, so why would he be hanging around here? Also, if this is a malevolent attack by a malevolent spirit, Surely there would be other claims of, of people having the same occurrences. Not just one individual. So please, come on, I'm, I'm encouraging you, I'm welcoming you to come forward and do to me what you did to somebody else a few weeks ago. <clears throat> Can you show yourself at the side of me? I'm going to turn the spirit box on, guys, because I don't seem to be getting anything happening. Might be a bit tricky. Is that trying to tell me something? No. I don't, uh, I don't feel anything here, like I say. Whatsoever. Try again. If there's anybody here... Oh, hold on. <clears throat> Spirits? Any negative or positive spirits who wish to make yourself known to me? Then come forward. Thought I heard a bag ruffle, but then again, it could just be a bag. It is slightly windy. You see anything? No. You want to step forward and make yourself known to me? Is there any negative spirits here who want to make themselves known? Can you show yourself to me?
anyone? Is there any souls stuck in purgatory here? Four. Well, you know what to ask for, if you are. Is there any other spirits here? Yep, sure it was. Dan. Is it possible for who's talking with us now to go up to Dan and do something? Depends. Tell you what I'm going to try. I haven't got a spirit box on me. But I'm going to... It's all right, I didn't even notice that my candle's gone out. Look, candle's gone out. Didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, I'm in the dark. Oh, well, put it back there. Looks like I am on my own then, night vision only. Right. I'm gonna do a quick EVP session. What? I'm good, actually. Show you guys me setting this up and turning it on so you know it's not being tampered with. Also, we're going to keep the antenna down for further, you know, validation that it's spirit. It makes it a lot harder to actually affect it once the antenna's down. It, it reduces that bubble. So what I'll do is I'll turn this on and we'll get this investigation underway. All right, so I'll put this down here. And as you can see, guys, that's working. Right, spirits, we've come to this cemetery tonight to prove or disprove a claim that a demon's attacked someone. If there's anybody here that witnessed that, could you affect our device I've just placed on the ground? All you've got to do is go close to it, you don't even have to touch it. Give us some sort of sign that you're here, that you can hear my voice, that you can see us. Do anything you can to alert us to your presence. All you've got to do is walk up to that little device on the ground, take the energy from it, do whatever you need to, to affect that device. I'm just going to snap pictures of this, this REM pod as well, just in case there's all lingering. This spirit is just so we can start the communication with you. We've come here to try and validate or disprove something that has supposedly happened. Now we want to hear your story, so please confirm by pressing setting off the REM pod communication with you. Feel free to use my energy and our collective energy if you need it to set this device off. Got nothing to fear from us whatsoever. We're encouraging all positive spirits and spirit beings to come forwards and communicate with us tonight. Do not be alarmed by us. We're friendly. We're a friendly bunch. And we're just here to prove to people that Death's not the end. But there's something else afterwards. Can you help us do that tonight? If you can, could you affect that device right now? If you'd like to talk to us and communicate with us, can you set the device off, please? We will be giving you a chance at some point tonight where we split up individually. We'll all be sitting in the place where this supposed attack happened. So if there is anybody that you feel is more vulnerable in the group, do feel free to go up and show your power. Is anyone here that can remember me from last time? Could you affect that device? Or show yourself on this camera? 